Hi, here's Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Connect Microsoft Teams with the SharePoint Online. Working with Microsoft Teams is something normal for all Office 365 users globally. But what to do when you want to bring SharePoint experience or connect these two platforms and work with SharePoint data on Teams? Or how to connect Teams with SharePoint? Today I would like to share with you the ways how you can interconnect these two platforms to get benefits from both of them to the one collaboration environment. Let's switch to my screen. In case when you want to bring Teams to existing SharePoint site, you need to remember that when you're creating the modern SharePoint site, you have two types of the site you can create. The one is communication site, which is more connected with the something like intranet, maybe the project site, maybe some kind of application site, or the team site. Team site almost always is connected with the Microsoft 365 group, which is required to have the teams created in Microsoft Teams. There is slight chance in your environment that there are two options to create the team site on SharePoint, the one with the Microsoft 365 group and the one without it. So please check that because possibility to bring Teams experience to SharePoint Online is only possible when you're thinking about the SharePoint site with Microsoft 365 group. When your SharePoint site is created, you will see on the right top corner there is a private group created behind it and if you will go to site permissions in site owners you will also see that kind of group with dedicated email account so this will be the sign for you that there is a Microsoft 365 group behind SharePoint site and you can bring Teams experience to that site and bringing Microsoft Teams team to that existing SharePoint site is very easy. The only thing you have to do is to locate that button and select Add Microsoft Teams. It will take a few moments and the Microsoft Teams experience will be created behind your SharePoint site and you will be able to get Teams experience connected with your already existing SharePoint site. You will see on your screen there will be additional Teams tab on the left navigation and in the documents you can see there is a general channel folder for your documents. If you will select this navigation button and stay in the web browser, you will see that you will be navigated to Microsoft Teams which is connected directly with your existing SharePoint site. Very easy process, but remember that you need to have Microsoft 365 group connected with your team site. When you're working with Microsoft Teams, you should always remember that every team contains the SharePoint site behind it. If you would like to check this site, it's very easy to locate it. Just go to Files tab and there you will find the Open in the SharePoint button. This will open the browser and navigates you to your SharePoint site, which is created behind the Microsoft Teams. On this level, you have access to all files. You can extend it, you can use it whenever you want. It's good to know about it because you can interconnect these two platforms both ways. But if you're working with Microsoft Teams, there is also additional way how to bring SharePoint experience to your collaboration in the team. To do that, the only thing you have to do is to go to add the tab and select the application. You have few of application you can use it that will bring SharePoint directly to your Microsoft Teams team. You can use document library, which will connect the SharePoint hosted document library as an additional tab. You can use lists and bring list which is created on OneDrive or on SharePoint to your Microsoft Teams team or you can use SharePoint and SharePoint pages to create connection to lists, libraries or pages. Let's start with the SharePoint application. It contains most of the features you need. 
In the application you can decide do you want to load the data from the team side which is connected behind or do you want to connect to any other Microsoft SharePoint site. In this case you will also have access to all components present there like if you want to bring the new page you can select it and save it. Thanks to that you can bring content from the SharePoint and embed it directly to Microsoft Teams. It is something like building the application through Teams using SharePoint components. You can see there's just few clicks. You can manage the content behind it and just bring that experience directly to Microsoft Teams. Another thing which is worth to be considered is to connect with document library. Again, you have to select the team site and document library which you want to bring to your Teams in Microsoft Teams. When you publish this document library, it will bring all files stored there. In this case, we have the library that contains the graphic files. You can easily get access to them through Microsoft Teams and host them in the SharePoint in the background. So if you have multiple document library, you can interconnect them directly to Microsoft Teams and work on the files on multiple tabs on the multiple data sources. Another application which you can bring to your Microsoft Teams are lists hosted on SharePoint. If you will select the list, then you can bring like issue tracker as an additional tab and deliver it to your colleagues working in the same team. You can see again, you have whole Microsoft list experience embedded to Microsoft Teams. So if you're hosting that kind of data on SharePoint and your users working mostly on Microsoft Teams, you can bring all that elements as additional applications on channels or in general team level and make it much easier for your colleagues to work on SharePoint components using Microsoft Teams. It is possible to bring Microsoft List, Document Library or Pages hosted on SharePoint. You can see that connecting Microsoft Teams with SharePoint Online is very easy. Frankly speaking, both of these platforms are already interconnected. So behind every team created in Microsoft Teams, there is a SharePoint site behind it. So the only thing you have to do is to bring experience from SharePoint to Teams to, to get that additional value. But still, if you're looking for other more complex ways to use Microsoft Office 365, you want to learn more about it? In the description of uh, this video, you will find free course when I'm training how to achieve more using Office 365, how to build free sandbox, which you can use for your personal use. If you like this video, please left the thumbs up. If you would like to get notifications about the new videos, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate this kind of support from your side. For now, thank you very much for spending this time with me, watching this video and see you the next time.